Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are talking about Nano Dimension news and NNDM stock updates. First, we will discuss the latest developments for Nano Dimension because they recently partnered with Protospace UTS to 3D print a prototype 5G antenna array that will drastically improve its performance. After we go over the latest news updates for Nano Dimension, we will then talk about the NNDM stock, what analysts think of this stock, how it has been performing as of late, what are the newest price targets for this stock and lastly we will look at the technicals remember to press the like button right now for more nndm stock news updates comment down below your thoughts on their new collaboration with protospace uts turn on all subscription notifications to stay informed and now let's get right into today's stories protospace uts and nano dimension which is a leading 3d printer manufacturer are involved in a project with each other to develop 5g additively manufactured devices to support the ever-growing 5G market. Nano Dimension is specifically important in this collaboration because of their Dragonfly LDM 3D printing machine that can create 5G millimeter wave antenna in package designs that are superior to other designs because this particular AIP offers higher bandwidth. This has opened a huge opportunity for 3D printing to help out 5G players through high-end equipment manufacturing to make devices that are even better than the ones they are currently using. Now before we get too deep, let me quickly catch you up on NNDM in case you have not seen my videos. The article says Nano Dimension's flagship Dragonfly LDM system is the driving force behind the firm's AME capabilities, combining freeform geometrics with embedded electronics. The printer is equipped with two inkjet print heads that simultaneously print conductive silver nano inks, which form the majority of the printed circuits connections, with dielectric photopolymer inks, which provide mechanical support, thermal resistance, and electrical insulation to the surrounding structures. End quote. Also in April, NNDM acquired DeepCube, which can allow Nano Dimensions 3D printers to become self-learning to improve themselves themselves as they print. Shortly after the acquisition of DeepCube, NNDM acquired Nanofabrica, which specializes in micro-precision additive manufacturing of complex electronic devices, which has already helped NNDM sell another type of 3D printing machine to Accumold, which is a high-profile client. Another acquisition is currently being negotiated right now, but currently we do not know what company it is or if the acquisition will be completed. Currently, NNDM is trying to solve the semiconductor chip shortage problem, which has caused major supply chain issues in a multitude of industries. Nano Dimension has also announced collaborations with Hensolt and Fraunhofer to develop a new kind of 3D printing process that is freeform. The current collaboration is set to last two years, but I think this partnership will be extended if the results come back very promising. Whatever is found or created in these collaborations, Nano Dimension will integrate it into their next Dragonfly printing model to help their aerospace and defense customers better. But now let's focus more on this new collaboration. Protospace UTS is located in Australia and it has some of the most state-of-the-art additive manufacturing tools at their disposal. This project is being led by Dr. Yang, who is the group captain of Millimeter Wave Integrated Circuits and Antennas at UTS. Dr. Yang, as well as other professors, will work alongside Nano Dimension's research and development team to further advance 5G technology and hardware through the process of 3D printing. Right now, these two institutions who have state-of-the-art and industry-leading 3D printing technology are working on a wireless ecosystem that is capable of hosting billions of high-speed electronic mobile devices that could open up a whole new era for 5G and the Internet of Things. If you don't already know, the Internet of Things, also known as IoT, is defined by Wikipedia as this, and I quote, The Internet of Things describes physical objects that are embedded with sensors, processing ability, software, and other technologies, and they connect and exchange data with other devices and systems over the internet or other communications networks. 
5G also has high demand for high functioning multi-beam antennas because the current antenna technology that we have cannot use 5G to its fullest capabilities. Because of this problem, NanoDimension is trying to create single substrate multi-level conductive layers within antennas with customized package profiles that are secure to circumnavigate this problem. So far, the process has been very successful because NanoDimension's Dragonfly LDM printer has made multiple multi-metal layered antennas and they have performed well under the stress of 5G while also having the clear advantage in wider bandwidth compared to older antennas. Now to give an example of what bandwidth is and what its cousin named throughput are, I will give a car analogy. The speedometer on your vehicle probably goes to 140, and we're going to use that in this example. And this is the end limit of how far the speedometer can physically go, which will represent our bandwidth. Then we have throughput, and in our example, it will represent horsepower because it actually gets us to those speeds. But let's pretend that the horsepower is only enough to get us to 100 miles per hour, which is what the car will actually travel at. So the bandwidth is the limit or the range of how fast it can go, but the horsepower and throughput will dictate how fast the car will actually go, even though technically it could go much faster. Now that was a very simplistic representation that bandwidth is basically the range and throughput is actually the power that utilizes that range. So now that you understand that, let's talk more about these 3D printed antennas. So the team found out that when more layers are added, more bandwidth is then achieved. For instance, three layers will achieve a 5 to 10% increase from a base model, while seven layers have an 83% increase in bandwidth. So with the use of 5G and therefore higher throughput, the bandwidth needs to be much higher to utilize this new power, which makes these antennas very valuable. Now let's talk about some NNDM stock analysis. Right now the NNDM stock price is about $5.66. The average trading volume over the last 50 days is around 6.5 million. In the last 20 days, the average volume per day for the trading of shares is 5.5 million and in the last five days the trading volume is down to 4.3 million so this drop in volume is a negative bearish sign this is mostly due to nano dimensions shedding almost nine percent off of its stock price just in the last month NNDM also has a trailing price to earnings ratio of about 23.3, which is lower than their industry, which sits at about 36.91. To put that into perspective, the S&P 500, which is a great market benchmark, has a PE ratio of around 14 most of the time. This is both good and bad news for NNDM stockholders because higher PE values indicate that investors are anticipating very high growth, especially if the number is very high, and in Nano Dimensions instance, it is pretty high. However, the reason this could be bad is if the company does not deliver good results, for instance, in quarterly earnings reports, if it's not good news, the stock could drop like a rock in price. Speaking of price momentum, the NNDM stock is trending neutrally right now, which means either the stock is waiting for a big enough catalyst to push it higher, or it's waiting for the overall market to react before it presses lower. Now, some good news is that the stock has gotten a little more coverage from analysts. More specifically, the analyst at Maxim Group says this stock is worth $8 per share. The reason this is good news is because the analyst actually rates NNDM stock as a buy right now at its current price. This has also not affected the overall NNDM stock price target of $10 per share, which is always good news. Now, I would never just blindly jump into a stock because analysts rate it higher than its current price or because someone on YouTube told me it's the next 10x stock. 
Also, to be fully transparent with you, I do own this stock through exchange-traded funds, also known as ETFs, from ARK Invest, but I do not hold this stock directly because my portfolio already has enough risk factored into it. This is why I always like reminding people and other investors of the amazing option of owning the PRNT ETF by ARK Invest, and I like this ETF because I get to own a large chunk of the best 3D printing stocks like Nano Dimension. But what are your thoughts? Comment your thoughts down below about Nano Dimension stock or the company as a whole. Remember to like this video, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.